Hey there, welcome back to True North Reviews. My name is Ryan, and today we're reviewing the new album from X Ambassadors. This one is entitled Orion. This is the second studio album from the American rock group following up VHS, a very overblown, loud album that I don't really care much for outside of the singles Renegades and Unsteady. Everything else just felt like it was a little too over the top for me to like when it came out in 2015. Uh, it's really just trying to overcome a bunch of this adversity with these blandly penned songs. There were still some intimate cuts that I remember vaguely to this day, Unsteady being one of them that I definitely remember, but this overall loud sense of sound going for X Ambassadors makes sense when we look at Alex the Kid's production. He had a heavy helping hand on VHS, this time he isn't here, but I noticed that X Ambassadors are still signed to the Kid in a Corner label. Getting into this new X Ambassadors album though, I feel like this one is stronger in the way that it's more focused, it sounds uh, stylistically a, a bit more consistent. We certainly get more of an R&B feel to a lot of these tracks here with uh, electronic and gospel kind of flavor added to the mix as well. It's textured at points with certain moments coming across that way. And then there's other songs that are not super layered. They're very stripped back. The one song that is grandiose and kind of gets it out of the system right at the beginning of this album, it's called Hey Child. And I really like this song. Then we get the track Confidence, which I am kind of torn on. I do like a lot of the elements to this track, including the intimate production with the snare clicks, the hand claps, kind of close miked human presentation of the song. I still can't really get behind Kay Flay's vocal feature on here, so yeah, I'm really divided on this track. And then there's another song on here called Boom. This one I'm also very divided on. I feel like the vocal refrain of my heart goes boom, boom, boom. I, I absolutely hate that, but I, I do love the groovy bass line on here, the chugging guitars that kind of rush onto the track every now and then, very compelling. Back to the positives on this album though, I think there are a few highlights on here that I wanna mention. Rule is one of those songs. On this track, there's a subtle, intimate kind of feel to the synth melody on here. History is another standout on this album. It has the best vocal performance from Sam Harris. He shows off his talent alongside the acoustic guitar and string-led kind of composition, which makes the track very stripped back. Recover and I Don't Know How to Pray, these are two tracks that put the gospel influence of this album is what I was referring to earlier. Recover is this track that has like this church organ play throughout the song and then I don't know how to pray is where we see this faithless man try desperately to find faith. There's a powerful vocal performance on here as well in addition to history and uh, it's an interesting cut in the way that we get a response from God but it's like this very silent moment and then we get like these almost inaudible whispers. It might be viewed as a little preachy, but for me personally, I think it's relatable along with the track Shadows. This one has a lot of relatable lyrics to it too. Now onto the bad kind of songs on here, which I wouldn't really say are outright terrible. Um, I, I just could go without them. These are called Wasteland, Quicksand, and Hold You Down. I feel like the first one, Wasteland, this one is pretty repetitive, it's dull and monotonous until we get like this two minute mark where these thumping drums come in with this guitar solo, which they are pretty interesting. Then the other two songs, Quicksand and Hold You Down, I feel like these ones are kind of forgettable and bland in the way that they're just like, filler for this album, yeah. But overall for this this album, I think it's a mixed bag, leaning more towards the positive. I think there are uh, more good songs outnumbering the bad ones, and the bad ones are just like, okay, like they're there, it's just filler. So I'm feeling a six out of 10, sound off down below in the comments, let me know what you think of this new X Ambassadors album. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new in town, thanks for watching, and as always, have a rockin' day.